Hi, welcome to With Heart. Today we're talking about coral for decoration. This guy is like the Mac Daddy. I did just the other day. He's looking pretty good. So I bought these pieces of coral. This smaller one I got at a an estate sale, and it was ten dollars. And then I got a bigger piece. I honestly can't believe it was only twenty dollars because it's huge. So I can think of a million places in my home to put this, but before I put it in my home for display, this is pretty dirty. It's dusty and it's kind of got some marks on it that are dirty. So I want to clean it all first before I put it on display and just make sure that I'm getting rid of all of the dust and dirt. This one for sure you can see is quite dirty and dusty. Um, and the home that it came from was older. It had probably been there for a really, really long time. So I just want to make sure that I give it a nice, clean, fresh look before I put it in my home. So to do that, you just get a bucket, um, just a standard cleaning bucket. And the rule is kind of that you fill it, it's two to three parts water and one part bleach. So I've just got standard household bleach here. Um, just from any supermarket. So first thing I'm going to do is fill up my bucket with some water. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the coral and just dump it in the water. And then I just have a toothbrush. It's a new toothbrush actually that I just got from my dentist the other day. <laughs> I really do brush my teeth dentist just with a different toothbrush. So I'm just going to dunk this in the water and give it a good scrub. And that toothbrush, you want to be gentle because coral is really fragile and you just want to be really gentle when you're doing it just like you're brushing your teeth or for me like I'm brushing my one-year-old's teeth and as you can see this is already coming cleaner it's just getting that dust and dirt off and when I go into a thrift store or an, a yard sale or an estate sale or something like that and I spot something like this I always try and buy it <laughs> because these are hard to come by. $10 for this, definitely worth a little cleaning and a little bit of my time. Okay, so it looks like I got most of the big dirt spots off of this one. So I'm just gonna set this aside. This guy is like the Mac Daddy of coral. It's huge. Honestly, it is the biggest piece of coral I've ever found or seen before. And this one was only $20, such a bargain. So now that I've given these two bad boys their preliminary scrub down, I'm going to add some bleach into my bucket. Now, I'm kind of of the philosophy that these are a very fragile, natural you know, resource, so I don't wanna to add too much bleach in, just a little bit to give it a nice crisp white edge. And then just give it a little mix around. Now some people are of the school of thought that you can let this sit for up to 48 hours, but I'm just going to kind of see how it goes. So I'm just going to kind of let this guy hang out in his little beach, bleach swimming pool for a little while and just kind of see how he does in there. So this little guy has been soaking in his bleach bath for about 15 minutes now. So we're going to take him out and see what he looks like. Not bad quite a bit brighter and whiter, I think, than it was before, especially compared to the one that I haven't bleached quite yet. I think it looks pretty good. I let both of these dry a full day overnight. Now that they're completely dry and they're all the way clean, I can think of a million places these would go in my home. So the next time you see a piece of coral that is dirty at a thrift sale or a yard sale or something like that, don't pass it by, just give it a good cleaning. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.